Welcome to JavaScript for Beginners and in this video we're going to improve our current code here. So we have this code from our accounting JS or well not really account JS but this is our login page. So you can see this is all wonderful. However we have some issues here and the reason why is you can see we have these variables they're almost similar to each other the only difference is basically this so we don't need these variables here. We can only use them once and it should be more than enough. So there's a statement they call dry. It's an acronym for don't repeat yourself. So that's what we need to do. We need to remove this, all of those double things, all these double variables. So what we need to do is we need to have one variable that can be used for every function. Here we have right now three functions and this should eventually become optimized but right now let's start with the basics. I want to just remove one item so I'm going to paste this separately yes and the reason why I'm doing it separately right now I'm going to make this a um, variable that can read through every function instead of every function has their own individual option. So if you just look at it, this, this is the only difference while this information here, what we did was only hide and show, but this is not necessary. So I'm going to remove all of them. Yes, every single one of those. All right, so I have this text here. I can just remove this because this was not really necessary. Those are all text. So just remove everything here. And once we did that, we're going to start to assign the correct way for this. So what we want to do here is instead of show and height, just remove all of these values. Height, show, another height, another height, another show, another show. And what we can do is we can even remove this duplicate text here. If you do this, yes, because it's a, it's, they say it's a very common practice in JavaScript and it's a professional way of doing it by always putting the variables on top but if you do all these variables like this you have to put in a comma here indicating that JavaScript understand that this is a variable so you only can repeat it one time here no need to repeat it multiple times the only thing here is that this one should be the closing one so once we did this we're almost done here what we have to do here is just to remove this part here because this sign up would just get the text and then add or remove is set independently added in here so let's do this just remove all of these so there's it is absolutely nothing complicated here because everything was already in nice structure so that's why it's easier to remove so let's remove all of these items now and we can see here now that this all works All right, so we have this now. Let's save this and says, do you want to buy this? No, I don't want. So let's save this and see if we have everything correctly done. Refresh. And then let's click on this. You can see now it all works. Does it all work? It works all. It, the only thing we just basically did was replacing the variable to one with a consistency in it. And this is really how you can do it to simplify it. Of course, this is right now a global, which is a for basically not a recommended structure. We should do it locally, but that will be in a future part. However, right now you understand this is an easier way to do it and more professional.